Yet we bangare and go down. Should you should I slap people? Chief tell them. So when you hear gunshots in Bameta, these are our forces fighting. There are other videos in Bameta that show our forces fighting against Larkobe inside Bameta. You remember the one that was the first takeover plan with Fonter, with Camaro military, some of them hiding behind Petro Station. Those are all actions our people know that the Cristiano wants you to forget. That is RPG. You hear the sound of RPG there. So this is a real combat combat mission about the, the, the our forces in Bamenda fighting against the Cameroon military. We have seen Cameroon military falling in the hands of ADF so many times. It is ridiculous and childish for me to be forced to come and prove to you these things that are all so obvious. Instead, you should be confronting Chris Arno. Let me even show you a picture of the Bamenda Brigade, how they handle a captured Cameroon military inflation block. No, this is a captured Cameroon military man in Bamenda by India. This is in Bamenda. This is Cameroon military. JP soldier was captured in Bamenda. So this one, the Cameroon military captured and he was neutralized on video. It's out there. There are multiple, multiple videos. You cannot even count it. You have the one in um, of uh, Talk and Do in Menchum who destroyed two armored vehicles who were trying to transport the colonial mail there. You have just... Of January 20... 22. Yes, this which we the special force of ADF special force collected from the La Republic de Cameroon. And we don't the year see the IG, we don't the person out in a then do a Sako Chris Anu then. We don't the year. So this one I rebuked her message for January this year when our soldier they will go ambush soldier them for inside La Republic. They harvest their weapon, they kill two of them. The videos are all out there. They were published. Chris Arno actually came out at that time and said that it was not ADF soldiers, it was a restoration forces there, and they had to make these videos to make a rebuter. So I want you, ladies and gentlemen, always keep your sanity. The, the whole way con men they operate is to make you to even doubt your own sanity, to lose focus of reality so that they can con you and play you, and this time they are playing over the death of our people on the ground. So these people have been fighting against the ADF for a long time. Their problem is not La Republic. Their problem is the ADF. ADF problem is not them. Our problem is La Republic. So if they were actually fighting for Ambazonian freedom and independence, their focus would not be the ADF and the governing council, Dr. Chu, Kapo Daniel, and all our officials who have been working so hard. What these people have been afraid, what they have been scared of, is the fact that the ADF will fight and give Ambazonia freedom. And they were in, in this struggle just for short-term glory, right from the time of, of, uh, of Seseko. They had this idea, the idea of liberation was a short-term, based on fame and popularism. They thought that we can just protest and have our way to freedom. They miscalculated. And instead, for them, who saw the Ambazonia Defense Forces doing something that was long-lasting, that was attainable, instead for them to join them or to replicate it, they could do their own. Even when they tried to create the DOD, they didn't pursue it because they were keep on looking at what the ADF was doing and trying to destroy them. I want to show you, ladies and gentlemen, what the ADF is, what they are made up of, so that you are not mistaken. Remember, early on, when Siseko was made the head of the joint platform, a multi-organization joint platform, the Skakuf, who invited Siseko over. This is Siseko having meeting with, with Dr. Cho Ayaba and the leadership of the governing council, the secretary general of the ADF, the, the Sheikh Kabi was the DDC of the ADF, 
And then you have uh, Benedikwa, who is the, the leader of the Defense Department, the chief of the War Council. Siseko came and they met them because these were the people who were building a military on the ground, a building a force to fight against Cameroon. Today, they want to give a dog a black name and inadvertently assist Cameroon to destroy the greatest force that can defeat Cameroon on the ground. Seseko left this room instead to go and support the ADF or try to work and collaborate with them. They tried to create their own force and they did not focus on it. Instead, they go and try to hire ADF fighters, blackmail their leadership, try to disturb, to destroy ADF for the purpose of fighting uh, to destroy Abacho's leadership and for nobody else to shine. It is just the wicked black man syndrome. You remember, because Dr. Cho Ayaba gave a wonderful speech in Washington, D.C., even his closest ally, Ebenezer Akwanga, became so jealous and hated him for that. People hate each other for just speaking the truth and trying to fight. But remember, there are three types of people who are in the diaspora. There are those who, majority of them, ran away because of the political, the, the economic hardship from the country. And there are those who are potential leaders, people who could be the leaders of our country, but who have failed to be in CPDM or even to prosper in SDF. People who have failed in NAM. People who look at themselves and say that we should have been those who are chopping money in that country. We should have been, we should have been the boomers of that country. Failed CPDM politicians and failed SDF politicians like Atta Milan, including Seseko Ayoktabi. All they see in the diaspora and people like Sako is that they can, this is an opportunity for them to go back and be who they could not be. The Ambazonian struggle has become the enam of some of these people. That's why they are not putting forth any strategy. They are busy trying to fight the ADF and the nationalists so that they can meet Paul Bia and cut, up, cut some D with them and let them finally become who they could not be before they left the country. The vast majority of the active people in the liberation movement are this type of people. There are those who actually ran away from this struggle because they were fighting on the ground like Ayabacho, Ebenezer Kwanga, Benedikwa, Shekabi. They fought on the ground. They saw blood on the ground. They were ready to give their life. These are selfless individuals who are now fighting genuinely with genuine efforts to liberate our homeland not fighting to become the CPDM person. That's why their behavior is different. That's why they are focused on the objective on Cameroon. Those who wanted to look, use cut, shortcuts like Success Congo and the, the other one, Professor of the, Dr. G in South Africa, they have all fallen into the hands of the enemy because they are greedy. They are not selfless. You can be liberated only by selfless individuals who are not fighting for any political benefit or their own individual agenda but people who are focused on fighting to free the common man. Who gets it? This so-called elitism, they keep on playing the same politics of La Republic, doing the same scamming to you as La Republic was doing. They are not better. You can never be saved by people who are there for short-term glory. You can never, that's why you see people, some of the activists have dropped off because they were not really fighting for you. They saw an opportunity to become famous they saw an opportunity to become somebody. That's why they took it. They were not really there campaigning for you. That's why you find a lot of them have stayed back.